Welcome back, gurus. I hope you're having a great day wherever you are. My name is Nick, and today we're actually going to be discussing a topic near and dear to me, which is the artifact utils. Um, the reason that this is uh, something that I classify as near and dear to me is because it's actually my own integration. I had a lot of people telling me that, hey, you're publishing YouTube videos and you're making integrations, but you're not making any videos about your own integrations. So I figured, good point, I should probably make one discussing the actual uh, integration that I have here that I just recently published, Artifact Utils. Now, this integration is actually going to allow you to interact with your artifacts at any level, just like we have for the data table utils and other things like that. Uh, we're gonna have that same functionality now with artifacts, this time being able to search for artifacts, being able to tag and remove tags from artifacts, and then if you need it, the ability to delete artifacts. I understand that might be one that you turn off and you don't let anybody use, but it is there if you need it. All right, so let's go ahead and dive into this a little bit more. All right, so you can see here that we are actually on the Artifact Utils page on our IBM App Exchange. Um, so if you're wanting to download this integration, just come out here, you can download the app here, and you'll be able to actually start using this app um, simply by installing it onto your system. Now, let's go ahead and jump over to my system here. Um, so I already have it installed on this one. Uh, not really too much to installing the integration. Just install it just like uh, I instructed you to do on this video right here in the top right. And then what we're going to do is we're going to set up the configuration. For this one, very simple configuration. Oh, looks like I still got debug turned on. I'll go ahead and remove that. Um, but Configuration should pretty much stay the same. Uh, of course, I've got the CA file equals false here. You can just ignore that for your own environment as this is my lab environment. Um, and then you can, of course, run and test it down here. Once you're all set, go ahead and save and push those changes. And then what we'll actually do is we will jump out to the details page where we can deploy. This one, since I restarted it, it is uh, redeploying here and should be done anytime now. We can see now that it is ready to use. So now what we're gonna do is um, we're gonna go ahead and jump into the actual workflows that are in this integration. Those are gonna be out here. Um, here are the rules that are gonna fire those workflows. Uh, however, you can see I've got those turned off over here. The reason for that is because uh, I like to use playbooks. I understand some people like to use rules and workflows still, um, but hopefully we get more and more people moving to playbooks. These are really meant to be more of an example to give you an idea of how to use them. But of course, if you want to use playbooks, I do have the playbooks available. I just don't include them in the package. That's my own personal preference. I do that just so that uh, you're not having your playbooks all get cluttered up too. Um, so the way that you can get those is actually jump out to my IR Gurus GitHub. Again, I will link that up here in the top right corner. That will give you the ability to actually come out and grab the playbooks that I have here. And then when you are ready to install those playbooks after you've downloaded them, you can jump out here into the playbooks section. And then you'll have this import button here where you can import each one of those playbooks. You can see here, these are my playbooks that I've got already installed and ready to go. So let's go ahead and actually dive into using this playbook now that it's here. All right, within one of the playbooks, we're gonna look at the search and tag artifacts. So here you can see the layout that I have, and this is gonna be for the workflows and for all of my playbooks. What we're doing is first we are going to activate it at the incident level, it is gonna be a manual activation. We've got some information that we're gonna fill out to perform our query um, to make sure that we're finding the artifacts that we actually want to find. And then uh, for this one, we're going to apply a tag. Obviously for the removing a tag, we're going to remove the tag. And then for the last one, delete, we're not gonna have a tag option here because we're just removing the artifact itself. But what we're gonna do is first, we're going to perform the query. We're gonna look it up, verify that we have found some values. 
If we did find values, then we're gonna go ahead and perform whatever that task is, either add tags, remove tags, or delete the uh, artifacts. Otherwise, if we didn't find any artifacts, then we're just gonna go to this else path and finish the playbook itself. So let's see how this works. All right, now that we're in an incident here, now we can actually start using this. And originally what the idea of this integration was for was, for instance, um, you may want to send an email for a phishing event that happened. Well, your phishing information may be in your artifacts. You may have your subject out there, your sender, um, and uh, maybe some additional content out there, such as a bad URL or something like that, that you want to include in the email and to let you know that we may want to uh, potentially remove that email from your inbox, um, or maybe we already have removed that email from their inbox um, or something like that. Um, so that'll allow you to search those and then add those values into your email, even though those, uh, those values are not included in the regular data, such as fields and stuff like that. So the way that we can do that is actually by performing a search. We see that we have some domains here that have been tagged as being malicious. Now, let's say for some reason we've gone ahead and cleaned those tags up or we've cleaned those domains up. They're no longer malicious. We're not worried about them. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and remove those flags at this point. So if we come up here and we see we've got this search and remove tags from artifacts, we can run this one. And this is that form that I was telling you about. Right here is where we're actually being asked um, to perform our search criteria in the top section and which tags we wanna remove in the bottom section. So first, what we're gonna do is in the top section, we're going to say, this is specifically a DNS name because that's what all of those were. We're going to, in the second part here, so the first part is what we're actually looking for, and the second part is the type of method we're looking for. So we want this in our query or not in our query. Um, obviously, we want this in our query here. And then, of course, if we wanted to add some kind of value uh, that we're looking for, we could do that, um, and then either contains or does not contain. Um, we can also search through the descriptions and then we've got some options here, including if they have or don't have value. We can also search for specific tags that maybe already exist. In this case, we know that they are maliciously tagged. So we can say, hey, we only want the DNS names that actually already have a tag of malicious. And then of course, we would have to say if we want this in the search or not, we do want this in the search, so we can add that. And then if you're looking for artifacts that have hits or attachments, we've got those options down here as part of our query. The next section is which tags do we wanna remove? So down here at the bottom, we have the option to remove the malicious tag. Now that we have selected that we are looking for DNS names that also contain the malicious tag and that we want to then remove the malicious tag, then we can go ahead and execute this and let this run. Of course, because this is a playbook, we're gonna see up in the top right here that it is successfully running for us. And here in just a minute, it should finish and we should not see another error added to this. And there we go, that was successfully ran. So if I do a refresh on the page here, now that the page is reloaded, we can see that those tags have been removed. But now let's say we want to add tags. We've got a bunch of different IPs here, um, but we don't want to tag all of them as, or not malicious, but internal IPs. We just want our 10 dot IP addresses here. So what I can do is I can run my query to search and tag some artifacts. And I'm going to say specifically, I'm looking for IP addresses that are of course in my search. And I want the value in there to be a 10 dot. So my 10 dot address, I want this to contain my 10 dot address. And then down here, I can say that I'm going to add this as an internal tag. There we go, since I spelled it right there. 
And now when we execute this again, just like before, we're gonna successfully run, showing that it's running here. In just a minute, it'll be finished running and we should have new tags. All right, now that this is finished running, we can see that we searched for all of the IP addresses and then specifically IP addresses that only had a 10 dot address in them and that we marked them as internal. So now because we have added that here, we can go ahead and see that all of our internal IP addresses have now been marked as such. Now, last but not least, let's say we added a bunch of these domains here and we wanna get rid of these domains from our system. Um, of course, this query may not be as simple as what we're gonna do because we've got specifically domain one in here. Um, but what we can do is I'm going to go ahead and delete these artifacts using the search and delete playbook here. In this one, we can say that this one is specifically a DNS name. Of course, I wanna add this into my search. And then I only want the domains that actually specify domain. And then obviously we want that to contain. And then for the rest, we're gonna go ahead and leave the rest of them blank. Or maybe we can even say the domains that have hits we wanna get rid of. So I can go ahead and say, yes, I'm specifically looking for those. So we should have domain two left here. So let's go ahead and execute that and we should see that deletion process take place. All right, and now we're back here after it ran, we can see that domain two is the only one still available there and the rest have been deleted. So this is just a quick overview of exactly how to go about using the uh, artifact utils integration. So what we just saw was we saw the ability to both add and remove tags as well as delete artifacts themselves. Um, so at this point, as we wrap up this video, I hope that you guys get a good understanding of exactly how you can use this integration, whether it's for doing exactly what I showed you here, or if it's just the ability to search for artifacts within your own environment. If this video was helpful, I ask that you give me a like and a follow. If it wasn't and, or you have questions, um, feel free to drop those comments and questions down below. Uh, so that I can understand better what you guys are looking for. And finally, if you have any suggestions on things that you would like to see within the SOAR platform, drop those in the comment below as well so that we can try to pick one of those videos up and make sure that we're getting content out that you gurus want to see. If you guys are interested, you're going to see some videos that are going to pop up here. Definitely encourage you to take a look at those. Um, and we hope to see you gurus next time. Thanks.